all the way from Canada, professor and science researcher Ian Juby. Professor? Yes, this is just plain old Ian Juby, but I have no idea why he's suddenly risen through the ranks of academia. Some of you may remember him as the former coveted Golden Crocoduck nominee who went postal in a rowing boat. Over your lifetime, you'll accumulate a few errors in your DNA. Yeah, he's got a gun. Juby is back once again, taking another shot at the coveted award. Someone nominated this video, which has Juby talking to Carl Bau about dinosaur eggs. This is a, a replica of an oviraptor egg nest. This is what the dinosaurs want to do. Yes. All right. So well that's what stated. They want to do. Well stated. What do we actually find in the fossil record? We find a number of very radical things. Uh, for example, this comes from the Two Medicine Formation in Montana. Again, a, a replica. It was in green-gray mudstone. And again, apparently this dinosaur laid them in twos, but apparently laid the eggs on the run. Ian, that's incredible. It sure is, because incredible means unbelievable, and I don't believe it for a minute. In what spiritually induced hallucination did a dinosaur on the run lay eggs in neat rows like this? Juby goes on to conclude, of course, that this is evidence of the biblical flood. To test his hypothesis, I decided to devise an experiment to see what might happen when dinosaurs lay eggs while running for their lives. Of course, there are no dinosaurs around today, but chickens are descended from small running dinosaurs and mimic them rather well. So I decided to scare some chickens just as they were about to lay their eggs by emptying a tank of water to imitate the global flood. Now, when I started this experiment, I did expect it to fail spectacularly, but what actually happened astonished me. Now, it's not often a creationist gets something right, but I must admit that the experiment clearly supports Juby's hypothesis. Let's roll the tape. <laughs> Ian, that's incredible! Ian, that's incredible! <coughs> the stunning result was that the chickens not only laid their eggs on the run, but when the eggs were examined later, it turned out they'd formed into neat rows, just as Ian Juby had predicted. Not only that, one of them was made of chocolate. That's incredible! Of course it is, Carl! I'm pulling your plonker! There was no experiment, no neat rows, and chickens don't lay chocolate bloody Easter eggs. If Juby thinks this is anywhere within the realm of sanity, let him do this experiment and show the result I got in my fake one. That's what real professors do. But Juby isn't eligible for the coveted golden crocoduck because of a stupid idea. He has to actually breach the ninth commandment. And of course he couldn't pull off this silly egg-laying hunch without doing that. Juby starts off by showing us an oviraptor nest and saying that oviraptors like to lay their eggs in a circular fashion. Yes, that's what paleontologists have discovered. Then he claims another set of eggs should have been laid in the same way because they were laid by the same type of dinosaur. Uh, but they weren't. As always, to get to the bottom of this mendacity, we have to check Juby's sources. A lot of this is a uh, centralized run an article uh, by Barnhart in the Creation Research Society Quarterly magazine. He did an excellent article, multiple pages, examining dinosaur egg nests. But Barnhart doesn't say the elongated nests were made by an oviraptor at all. He cites a 1994 book containing a chapter by Moratella, who in turn cites a 1987 paper by Horner, who described these eggs, and all three attribute the elongated nest to a different type of dinosaur, the Troodon. This isn't just a minor issue of classification. These are two completely different dinosaurs. The Troodon nest is from Montana, but the Oviraptor nest comes from Mongolia. The two species lived on completely opposite sides of the world. So not only is Ian Juby's idea completely idiotic, it's not even based on a proper reading of his sources. A real professor would have had the ability to read and understand all this. 
But of course, Juby isn't a professor. He's called that because there's a dearth of scientifically qualified creationists, so they like to create titles for themselves. And if anyone is suspicious of Juby's fake qualifications, Juby has a backup. And this audience should know that your IQ is off the chart, and uh, we appreciate that. Yes, he may not be qualified, but he's smarter than you, which means he knows a lot more about dinosaurs running away from a global flood and laying eggs in two neat rows than you do. So there. Ian, this isn't personal, mate. You're a very nice chap with a wonderful sense of humour. But if you want to preach what you believe to be the truth, why do you have to change the facts in order to do it? Well, I guess if you didn't change the name of the dinosaur given in the scientific literature, then there'd be no puzzle and no need to invent even the most tenuous link to a global flood. People would think your eggs-on-the-run story was just chicken poop and laugh at it. I'd hate to see that happen.